So Alabama wins the toss. They deferred, so they just actually decided to take the football. Kentucky will kick it off in the corner. Here comes the tag. Javier Arenas to the 20. Arenas to the 40. And pushed out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Defense already with their backs against the wall. And the pistol formation, McElroy. Pass incomplete. Could have been picked off. Micah Johnson had a chance to pick it off his shoelaces. Didn't work. Yeah, originally committed to After Texas the play Tech. Was over, personal foul on the defense, number 55. The penalty is 15 yards. Automatic first down. Alabama moves to the 18-yard line. Here's McElroy. And off left side, Mark Ingram. Living about six on the carry. Ingram busted to the outside. He will walk it into the end zone. 57 seconds into the game, the tied score a touchdown. I mean, the coaches have really needed that from the quarterback position. And off right side. Garrett Lock will take it out of the 30. That'll be a first down. Give him six on the carry. Javier Arenas with the tackle. Hartline, nowhere to go. Throws it back over the middle. It's picked off. Mark Barron picks it off at the 40-yard line. That was big in a lot of ways. E.J. Fitzgerald, fielded by Randall Cobb. Takes that over the 30. Second down and six. Hartline throws it near side. Pass is caught. Chris Matthews, young man at a junior college. They say the ceiling is very high for this person. And off left side. Here goes Derek Locke. The junior out of Hugo, Oklahoma, brought down by Corey Reamer. Thank you very much, Rob. A lot of people keeping an, an eye on that game as Randall Cobb back in the game. will take the snap, gets it inside the 45, and that will be a Wildcat first down. One of those right here on the field wearing white. Randall Cobb back in the quarterback again. This time he hands it off to Derek Locke, and he gets tripped up in the backfield by the safety, Justin Woodall. A heck of a play from Woodall. Second down and long. Second and 17. Hartline to Locke. Makes a man miss. Locke to the 40. He may have picked up the first down inside the 35. I think he did. 49-yarder. Lona Sieber. Career long, 48. Give him a new career long. Sieber from 49 yards out gives Kentucky three points. P.J. Fitzgerald back to punt. Kentucky good rush. No flag. Here's Cobb to the 30. Cobb to the 40 and drops there, but a good return by Randall Cobb, the sophomore. And then a flag comes in late. And the officials were right there on top of it. A little block in the back. Can't have that if you're Kentucky. Third down and seven. This is what Joker Phillips wanted to stay away from. This time they're able to pick up the first down. Derek Locke will get it to the 42-yard line. Kentucky 0 for 11 on third downs and sevens and more. Randall Cobb in a quarterback makes a guy miss. Makes another man miss. Picks up the first down. Give Cobb a dozen on the carry. Mark Barron finally runs him out of bounds. Always, my friend, always. Alfonso Smith, first down, Kentucky. He's running hard. The senior out of Louisville, Kentucky. 3.15 to go in the opening quarter. First and 10. Here's Smith again, bouncing around. Gets it to the 30-yard line. Let's go downstairs once again, check in with Karen. So here we go. Fullback lead, John Connor. First down, Kentucky. He can carry it too, you know. He didn't just block all the time. Don't have a whole lot of plays drawn up for these third and long situations. They're tough to convert against, especially against a defense like Alabama. 
Pressure comes, Hartline drop back at the 33-yard line. It is a pretty substantial win, around 15, 20 miles an hour, so a heads-up play by Rich Brooks. Snaps good. Kicks on the way. Back-to-back 49-yarders for Lonis Seaver. No problem. McElroy connects. But Mike McCoy was just blown up by Winston Guy, the safety. You talk about holding on the offense on the 77. The penalty was 10 yards in the previous spot. Well, you talk about just an impressive physical figure. Roy Upchurch in the backfield. McElroy will set up the screen to Upchurch, but Kentucky ready from the get-go. Boy, it's as, Lindley. it's as if Steve Brown has a Alabama playbook. Fitzgerald with a good kick with the wind at his back. Cobb will field it at the 25. Look at Randall Cobb move around. 35-yard line. Where Randall Cobb's com coming underneath in zone coverage so that you give a, yourself at least a chance to pick up a first down. Good lots good to punt it away. Arenas will let it hit at the five. Kentucky's all over it. They will pin Alabama inside the five-yard line at the four. Randall Cobb back at the 48. Fitzgerald, another good kick. Backs Cobb up to the 35. Randall makes a man miss. The midfield and drop there. 14-yard the return. Giving yourself a chance to win in the second half. Well, this is right according to plan with what Rich Brooks wants to do. Lodzka was a pooch punter a year ago. Got the full-time job this year. Now you know why he was the pooch punter. That's back-to-back -back kicks that have pinned Alabama inside the five-yard line. I'd have no problem throwing a pass here. That's what they'll do. Over the middle. Wide open. Tied in. First down. Colin Peak. Out to the 27-yard line. He's right in rhythm and right in stride here early for Alabama. His ninth catch of the year. Not the one to throw it again. Going for it all. Looking for the speedster Mays. It's incomplete. The first-round pick of the Bengals Holding this year. On the offense, the 77. The penalty is 10 yards to the previous spot. Repeat first down. Mark Ingram in a tailback. We'll get the handoff. Ingram out to the 30. Still on his feet to the 34-yard line. Third down and three. McElroy to throw. Slant over the middle. Julio Jones makes the catch. He was covered by Trevard Lindley, who was all over him. How Jones held on to that is beyond me. Didn't really have the big ones. We had some small guys that could, could move a little bit, though. McElroy. Another pass and catch. This time it's Darius Hanks. Now McElroy's getting it cranked up. 67% on the season and just under 1,000 yards. Having a great season. McElroy. Another strike. Right open in the middle of the field. It's Earl Alexander down to the six-yard line. Two pretty good running backs. I have no problem handing it off to Mark Ingram one more time. They will throw it. Looking for the tight end. Colin Peak touchdown. Sam Maxwell will pick it up at the 30-yard line, and he'll take it to the 40, so pretty good field position for the Wildcats with just 35 seconds to go. See how uh, Monty Kiffin and that Tennessee defense handles the running attack of Auburn. Here's Derek Rock. Lost the football. Picked up out of the midair by Courtney Upshaw. He can take it to the house, and he will. Touchdown, Alabama. Goes to Alfonso Smith. And that should do it for the first half. And, well, the first quarter and a half 
not so good for the third ranked team in the country but the last seven minutes of the second quarter dominated by Alabama and they will take a 21 to 6 lead into the locker room as we have completed one half a play here in Lexington Kentucky Alabama had 61 yards rushing I've told you well it's going to be a that's a tight football game well 21 6 in favor of the tie with those 61 yards here's Derek Locke a huge block Springs lock out over the 40. Let's see where they'll spot it at the 46 yard line. And he gave me a result. Yes. I don't think you have to worry about Coach Brooks. Or Derek Locke for that matter. Inside the 40. And ball back into Kentucky territory at the 49. Part line, throw it over the middle. Picked off. Rolando McClain, the All-American. McClain to the 40 and dropped right there. Hartline hit him right in the numbers. Second interception of the day for Hartline. His fifth of the season. McElroy has time in the pocket, dumps it down to Ingram. He gets hit hard from behind to the 32-yard line. Came into this game averaging 5.7 yards a carry and leading the team in receptions. Here's Ingram. There he goes! Touchdown Alabama! Ingram did a nice job at quarterback last year when he was called to duty. Here's Hartline, hits Derek Locke. Out to the 33-yard line, Justin Woodall brings him down. Hartline, over the middle, bound in the air. Picked off. Eric Anders, who already has a sack this afternoon, now comes up with his first interception. So Alabama. At it again, here's the tight end, Colin Peake. He will step out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Upshaw, Anders, Reamer have all made plays today. And off left side, here goes Ingram down to the 20-yard line. First down, Alabama. 36-yard attempt on the way from Lee Tiffin. The 8 out of 10 this year. In the field goal department, you can make him 9 out of 11 as he connects. That'll make it 31 to 6, Alabama. 10-18 to go in the third quarter. Lee Tiffin, after a 36-yard field goal, will kick it away for the tie. Into that 20-mile-an-hour win. Chance for Randall Cobb to field it. The sophomore out of Alcoa, Tennessee, after the 45-yard line. I have my eyes on that one, that's for sure. Here's Derek Locke into Alabama territory. Give him nine on the play. Here comes pressure. Kentucky picks it up. Here's Cobb trying to make a play. And he does! Touchdown, Kentucky! He beat Javier Arenas. Out of the shotgun, McElroy with 9.28 to go in the third. It's Colin Peak to tight end. Well, I think that was preached to us over and over yesterday by the Kentucky staff. We can't turn it over. We have no chance if we do. Well, he's turned it over four times. Find out exactly how and the way they want to do things offensively at Alabama. They play fake to Richardson. McElroy steps up, dumps it off to Trent. Trent makes a stutter step left, but a good open field tackle from Micah Johnson, middle linebacker for Kentucky. Richardson. Richardson had an electrifying 52-yard touchdown run last week against Arkansas when he broke five tackles. And the second time he got the football down there, it was pad level low and running. McElroy, it's Kyle Peak to tie it in. Shoves one defender aside and picks up the first down to the 32-yard line. Only four sacks on the season. It's a great, great football team from top to bottom. Here's Upchurch off the right side. 
he'll pick up the first down. After the play was over, personal foul on the defense, number 33. Billy will be forced half the misses the goal. Get to the uh, get to your big time receiver. And now they got him matched against Randall Burton out here wide, wide left. To the corner, touchdown Alabama. Darius Hanks, his first touchdown reception. He beat Martavius Nellums to the corner of the end zone. Six veteran players, six newcomers, and they try to mix and blend that talent together. Eric Locke chased down by Rolando McClain. One more final thought about the basketball team. Call it. Trust me, I'll text you and let you know how Patrick's doing. <laughs> Let's see if Kentucky picks up the first down. I believe they did. They got it to the 41 yard line. Monsell Allen tripped up by Javier Arenas. They get the two point conversion down three. Thank you, Rob. That pass. Caught by Kyrus Langster. Yeah, C.J. Spiller's a guy like Randall Cobb in a way. You just got to get him the football any way you possibly can as you look at the ACC teams. I mean, it's a tough night to go into Blacksburg and play Virginia Tech from, if you're Miami. You dropped from ninth to 17th in the driving range. It was, I mean, kind of unfair, in my opinion, to drop that far down. They're a much better team than the 17th ranked team in the country. Third and ten Wildcats. That's over the middle of the top. He's gonna have to make a couple of guys miss to get the first down. I tell you what, Alabama may have swung him to the first down marker. Yeah. Randall Cobb is just to put it plainly, he's just a baller. I'd go to war with him. Yeah. Here's Locke. Derek Locke ran into his own man. Still scrambling. We'll run for it to the five. First down, Kentucky. This is the 16th play of this drive coming up. Third down and goal from the two. Alfonso Smith in a tailback. Here's Smith trying to get the corner anyway. They're falling forward for three yards. That big offensive line. Very good up front. McElroy to the tight end, Kyle Peak, who's been a favorite target this afternoon. And for Peak, that's his sixth catch of this of this game. Third and one. Handoff. Ingram, first down to the 41-yard line. Nellums brings him down. Well, I don't think that's fabulous stuff. Uh, uh, Nick Saban can't stand complacency. Nor can Mark Ingram. Up over 100 yards, he takes it to the 41-yard line of Kentucky. P.J. Fitzgerald will punt it away. He stands at midfield. Cobb is it at the 10 to return if he has a chance. Cobb will let this one go. It'll hit at the five and touched and down at the four-yard line. He'll find a way to get to the end zone. Look at this run. That's the most impressive run I think he's had the entire day. Swing it out over the 15. Lotchka punts it high in the air into the wing. Arena's fair catch at the 45 yard line. Led 7 to 6 after a quarter and then they got it together. Ingram, good open field tackle. Third down and two for the tie on the I formation. Here's Ingram. Thank you. Got that first down. Quarterback sneak. And that'll be good enough for the first down. Greg McElroy. It's a fake. Fitzgerald will take it to the 20. Fitzgerald run out of bounds at the 15-yard line. First down, Alabama. That's been a tough, tough ball game. On fourth down, Alabama will throw it to the end zone. Incomplete. Looking for Mike McCoy. It's incomplete on fourth down, so Kentucky holds, and they will get the football back with a minute 26.
Jackson misses his second field goal of the day. Maryland still with the lead, but Clemson has the ball. Under two to go. Thank you very much, Rob. Alabama, a team garnering some attention. They got some first place votes this year, this week in the polls. How good are they? How good can they be? Uh, your impressions after watching this one today? I tell you, the thing that they really got to kind of dodge or, or avoid is injuries. The clock moves at 20 seconds, so this Alabama team will go to 5 and 0 oh on the year, and they have now won 18 of their last 20 football games. An I impressive think, unit wearing the white. I think it's just an excellent football team, and they're getting consistent quality play at the quarterback position, which was a question mark as well with John Parker Wilson leaving and graduating. And I think Greg McElroy stepped right in and has done a fine job. Last time Nick Saban was here, he had to win on a Hail Mary pass when LSU beat Kentucky. This time a little bit more comfortable for the coach wearing the shirt and colors of Alabama.